Hello, I'm Doris Spicer. I'm a nurse practitioner with the Hematology and Oncology Department at Northwestern Medicine. Today, I'm going to talk to you about oral cancer therapy and what you need to know. Your physician has prescribed oral cancer medication for you. This video will review important safety information about this type of cancer therapy. You may be wondering, what is oral cancer therapy? Oral cancer therapy is any medication you take by mouth to help fight your cancer. The medication can be a pill, tablet, capsule, or a liquid. There are three types of oral cancer therapy. The first one is oral chemotherapy, which is made up of powerful chemicals to destroy rapidly dividing cancer cells in your body. The second one is targeted therapy, which is targeted to block the growth and spread of a particular type of cancer cell. And third is hormone therapy, which is used to block and slow the growth of certain types of cancer cells. General side effects. Hearing about the side effects of oral medication for cancer can be overwhelming. It is important to know that not everyone experiences every side effect. Side effects can include nausea, diarrhea, low blood cell counts, which include your white blood cells, which help to fight infection, red blood cells, which carry oxygen throughout the body, and platelets, which help your blood to clot. You can also experience fatigue, hair loss, skin problems, and hot flashes. Each medication can have specific side effects. Your healthcare provider will discuss this with you during your education appointment. Taking your medication. It is important for you to know the name of your medication, the exact dose, and when you need to take it. Your medication works best when you take it exactly as prescribed. Swallow your medication whole. Let your healthcare worker know if you are unable to swallow pills. Do not crush, chew, split, or dissolve your medication. Take your medication at the same time every day. You can use reminder tools to help you remember to take your medication, such as a phone alarm or calendar. Try not to miss any doses. If you miss a dose, do not take a double dose. Taking more or less than your prescribed dose can be harmful. Your healthcare provider will let you know if your medication should be taken with or without food, if your medication should be taken before or after meals, and if there are any medications, supplements, or foods you should avoid. Monitoring your medication. You will need to be monitored when taking an oral medication to treat cancer. This therapy can be just as powerful as IV chemotherapy and can be dangerous if not monitored closely. Your blood cell counts and your kidney and liver function will be closely monitored by laboratory tests and discussed with you at your appointments with your healthcare provider. You will have appointments with your oncologist or an advanced practice provider such as a nurse practitioner or physician assistant. It is important to keep all of your appointments even if you feel well. It is important for us to monitor you and to make sure you are taking your medication safely at home. And it will be important for you to know how to safely store and handle your oral medication. Storage and handling of your medication. For safe storage and handling, store your cancer medication in the original packaging. You can use a pill box, but it will need to be a different pill box from what you use for your other medications. Do not reuse your cancer therapy bottle for any other medication. Always wash your hands before and after handling your medication. Keep your medication stored in a cool, dry place. Some medication will need to be stored in the refrigerator. Do not store your medication in the bathroom. If your medication has specific storage instructions, your pharmacist or healthcare provider will let you know. Always keep your medication out of reach of children and pets to avoid accidental exposure. Whenever possible, handle your cancer medication yourself and always wash your hands with soap and water before and after handling your medication. Safety information for caregivers. 
If a caregiver is handling your oral cancer medication, the caregiver should wash their hands before handling the medication, wear clean disposable gloves, and wash their hands after removing the gloves. Pregnant women should avoid handling oral cancer medication. Caregivers should wear gloves if they come into contact with body fluids. Additional safety information. Oral medication to treat cancer exits your body as a waste in your urine, stool, vomit, and blood. When using the toilet, it is important to put the lid down after each use and to double flush the toilet. If urine, stool, vomit, or blood can be seen on bathroom surfaces, it is important to clean it up before others use the bathroom. Clothing, linens, and bedding soiled with urine, stool, vomit, or blood should be handled and washed separately. If you have sex, use a barrier method. Disposal of unused medication will be discussed with you when you receive your medication. Do not dispose of unused medication in the toilet and do not throw any unused medication in the garbage. Pharmacy information. Your medication will come to you from a specialty pharmacy. Your pharmacy will call you to arrange for delivery to your home. Please notify your healthcare team if you cannot afford your medication because there may be resources available to help with cost. Please notify your healthcare team if you have concerns or questions and if you do not receive your medication. When to call the office. It is important to contact your healthcare team if you experience any of the symptoms noted below. A temperature of at least 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, uncontrolled shaking or extreme chills, new shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, mouth sores that keep you from eating or drinking or cause pain when you swallow, unusual bruising or bleeding, persistent bleeding such as nosebleeds, blood in your urine, or black tar-like stools. Diarrhea, six or more liquid stools in a 24-hour period. Constipation, not being able to have a bowel movement for five or more days. Nausea or vomiting that is not controlled with your anti-nausea medication. Extreme drowsiness or confusion. New severe weakness, especially if it's lasting more than 24 hours and new pain or pain that is not controlled with your prescription pain medication. Tips for staying healthy. Do not smoke. Wash your hands. Maintain a healthy diet focused on fruits, vegetables, whole grains, low-fat dairy products, and lean meats. Limit your sugar intake. Stay well hydrated. Avoid alcohol. And stay active. Your exercise goal should be 30 minutes a day and it's important to establish a support network. Remember, if you need support, ask for help. This is an overview of oral cancer therapy. More specific information will be given to you at your teaching session. Thank you for choosing Northwestern Medicine.